one there are people that will not end this year <laughs> it's not possible the reason why they will not end this year because death will take them someone say minus me <laughs> someone say i'm not in that group someone say my children they are not in that group another way is there are many that will crawl they will crawl to end this year with pain with sorrow with sickness with affliction though they will end the year so we will end the year in the hospital as the year is about to end there are some that will be rushed to the hospital why there will be some they will end the year in cry in bitterness because of situations that will come their way someone said minus me i am not in that group yes and then number three there are people that god has a day and god has sanctioned it that they will end this year majestically excellently victoriously and gloriously if you are such person stand up and shout aloud amen and this is why we are here tonight to settle the case <laughs> anything that God settled is settled forever the scripture says who is he that will say a thing and it will come to pass if not the law it is only God that has the final say amen I say it is only God that does what has the final say and whatever he say he will do he will surely do that is the God we serve. Amen? Amen. If you have a Bible with you, let's quickly turn to the book of Judges chapter 6. I will surely end this year where? I will surely end this year where? But for you to do so, you must know what to do to overcome the barriers. what you must do to overcome the barriers because those that will not end this year were well, because the barrier of not ending this year were well, overtook their lives anything that has a barrier and you want to assess that thing the first thing you must do is to overcome the barrier praise god if you know what to do to overcome the barrier of ending the year where automatically you will surely end this year where praise God Judges chapter 6 as you are opening to that part of the Bible so with me in the name of Jesus anything that is a barrier that does not allow people to end a year where I will overcome all of them by the power in the name of Jesus through the word of God tonight as I discover the barriers I will overcome all of them in the name of Jesus let me hear you shout the Lord Amen that is the truth if you don't know what a barrier is let me start from there barrier is what we can call an obstacle a barrier is what we can call an hindrance a barrier is what we can call a stumbling block that stands on the way any aspect of life where you are struggling it is because you have not succeeded in breaking down the barrier are you seeing it if you are struggling in marriage all you need to know and understand is to overcome the barrier of why marriage is not working for you 
if you are in Germany for years and nothing seems to be working for you in this country all you need to know is how to overcome the barrier of why things are not working for you so anything that carries a barrier if it is no way taken care of automatically you cannot advance in that aspect of life praise God somebody say I'm destined to advance that is why the barrier of not ending this year where I will surely overcome them in Jesus name if you believe it shout a loud amen. amen Judges chapter 6 we are going to read from verse 1 and we shall read together are you there and we will read to verse 5 let's read one to go and the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord and the Lord delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years and the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel and because of the Midianites the children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains and caves and strongholds and so it was when Israel had sown that the Midianites came up and the Amalekites and the children of the east even they came up against them and they came against them and destroyed the increase of the earth till thou come into Gaza and left no sustenance for Israel neither sleep nor ox verse 5 finally for they came up with their cattle and their tents and they came as grasshoppers for multitude for both they and their camels were without numbers and they entered into the land to destroy it whatever has been sent by the devil to destroy you it will not locate you I didn't hear your loud amen and they entered into the land and to destroy the land praise the Lord and they entered into the land and to do what please I don't want distraction or shall I take note of that are you getting that they entered into the land to do what to destroy hey ladies and gentlemen anything that has been assigned to destroy you before the ending of this year I say it will not look at you rise to your feet say oh God any arrow any arrow assigned by the devil to destroy my life before the end of this year it will not look at me I have lifted my voice and pray go ahead and pray 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 and they entered into the land and to destroy somebody you are not praying you are not praying refuse to be distracted be in the spirit and stop causing commotion for yourself go ahead and pray whatever has entered the land to kill and to destroy it did not locate me it did not locate my children it did not locate my wife by the power of God whatsoever has entered the land to kill and to destroy oh my father my God Father, I say thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I bless you. Because I know you are in charge. Therefore, they will not prevail. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say in the name of Jesus. The destroyer shall not look at me. The destroyer will not get me. The destroyer will not get me.
get my children the destroyer will not get my business the destroyer will not get my marriage in the name of Jesus if you believe it shout the Lord Amen take your seat overcoming barriers of ending the year well some years ago a lady with her three children plus her mother and her father we are celebrating Christmas which we are about to celebrate five days from now or four days from now as they gather in this lady's house they had a nice meal in America they ate good the children were happy Opa was happy, Oma was happy, Mama was happy because this woman she has divorced. So, unfortunately, after the food, the exchange of gifts and all, the night came and they slept. They didn't know that they didn't switch off the candle. Like I told you last time. That's why, as soon as service is over, we switch off the candles. It is a nice thing to do during Advent because we have four weeks of advent every week we move into from one advent to the second we are presently in the third advent of this year by next sunday we have moved into the fourth advent before christmas they slept off and the house caught fire unfortunately the only person that survived that incident was a woman the father died the mother died and three children died and that woman is still alive today. Today, any time there is Christmas, she travels to the eastern part of the world, South America and some other part, to help children that have no parents. Just to celebrate Christmas with them. What a tragedy. I say by the power of God, that will not be your portion. This is why we are gathered tonight overcoming the barriers if you know what the devil is planning how to spoil your life before this year comes to an end whether you know it or not what matter is this he will not prevail I say he will not prevail now look at what happened to these people and that's why we must understand what the barrier is all about the only advantage the enemy has over you is what happened here. The scripture says in Judges chapter 6 from verse 1, these people did evil in the sight of the Lord. They did what? Evil in the sight of the Lord. Ah! God himself delivered them into the hands of the Midianites. You shall not be delivered into the hands of your enemies. Amen. I'm not hearing your Lord, amen. amen. Go! Step back! And there, the devil step in. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my earnest prayer for you today. Anything that will make God to step out of your life, may it not come your way. Amen. May you not allow it to happen. This allow God to step out. And then Satan step in. The only reason why you will not end this year well is when God takes his hand out of your life. And that's why I've come to tell you tonight. Anything that will make God to step out of your life. May it not happen in your life. If God be for you, who can be against you? The devil knows. The only advantage he has to stop you from ending this year well is when God is out. So I will not allow God to step out. Stand up and begin to declare that now. Stand up and begin to declare. Go ahead and declare it. I will not allow God to step out. Baba God, if there is anything I've done that will make
statute of stopper. I say, Lord, have mercy and don't step out. Somebody pray, 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 pray. Tell God not to step out. Tell him not to step out. Go ahead and talk to God. Somebody talk to God. Let him know. Without him, you cannot make it. by your side. God is in control. <laughs> There's no shaking. God is in perfect control. <laughs> Hallelujah. It can only get better. It can never get worse. <laughs> it can only get what? It can never get worse. Because God is taking you higher. And God handed over these people to the devil. Why did God do that? They offended God. Somebody say, I will not offend God. They disobeyed God. Somebody say, I will not disobey God. They neglected God. Somebody say, I will never neglect God in my life. They put God aside in their lives and in their affairs. Somebody say, I will never put God out of my life. Very important. Don't go the journey alone. You always need God. And Moses said to God, He said, God, if you will not go with me, let's forget about the journey. Praise the Lord. He said, God, I know you are the one sending me. Your word is there, but I need you to follow me. God said to Moses, There is no shaking. I will go with you. And God went before him to make the way. And God went with him to favor him. God will go before you. And the way shall be made for you. God will go with you. And he will favor you. If that word is for you, shout a loud amen. I know what it takes and what it means for God to be with you. When God is with you, you are unbeatable. When God is with you, you are untouchable. When God is with you, you cannot crash. When God is with you, you cannot fail. When God is with you, you cannot collapse. That was what made Moses to succeed in the midst of the oppositions. You shall be unstoppable in Jesus' name. You are indeed you are heading by the power of God to the ending of this year and I see you ending it majestically and I see you ending it victoriously whenever there is whenever there is like World Cup that is coming up soon in Brazil 32 nations will gather so we play after some time they will return back why their mates are still playing why so we play they will get to the final but they will not win and why why we play and win so they say i am bound to win i am not just crawling through life i am going through life as a victorious child of god therefore 2013 and we end it well. If that prize for you, shout the loud amen. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Let me tell you one thing you need to know. There is always a reason behind the afflictions and predicament of life. When I returned back from Nigeria in my last trip where I went to minister, I told you all that there was a witch who, by the grace of God, as I was ministering, I called a man out and I said to the man, Where are your children? And in that meeting, by the grace of God, two of his children or three were in the meeting and they came out. And I looked at one of them. 24 years of, of 24 years of age and I said to him what has your father done to you he was looking at me but Ademola was in that service and I said to him what did your father do to you I said to him begin to confess now the boy opened his mouth I'm the one that caused my father to resign after 30 years of service with Mobi Nigeria oil and they paid him 50 million naira after he resigned. Normally they are supposed to do more than that if he had not resigned. And when they paid him that money, the same boy was responsible in making sure that money was useless. The father wanted to start a business. And this business has to do with water. And at the end of the day, all the words they talk, all the boy was the dog. At the end of it, what they find is salt instead of water. And that is how the man wasted the money. This boy did not stop there. One of the sisters got married. I can't say how many years. I, don't, I can't remember how many years. But he tied the womb of that woman up to date. She has not delivered. Anybody that tie a womb today, the fire of God will burn that person to ashes. <laughs> By the spirit of God, I told this word. I said, confess everything now, or else I will place a judgment of death on you. That was what I told him. Because the Bible says, suffer a witch not to live. I said, the only reason why I will suffer you to live if you confess. I ordered him all the instruments they are using. He brought them the next day. Padlock, cloth, when they want to go to their rain, to fly, he brought everything. Which I ordered them to burn. And I told him, if you truly repent, you will leave. But if you don't repent, you will not survive it. I got the message here first said that this boy is dead. What happened to him? 24 years old boy. The boy did not fully repent. After that program, after some weeks, the boy stole the little money the father has at home and ran away. Before you know what's going on, three day, last Sunday, excuse me, last Sunday, the news came to the to my friend Pastor Laban that that boy is dead. So Laban called the parents. He said, "What a bad news!" The father says, "It's not a bad news; it's a good news because this boy has troubled me." Every witch in your life, before this year end, I place a judgment of death on them. Troubling your life, troubling your children, troubling your business before this year ends. I said, They shall die. The father said to Pastor, Pastor was about to console them. You know what it means for a father to lose a child? I said, Pastor, what a bad news. The father says, It's not a bad news, it's a good news because this boy has troubled them. Years of service. 30 years. The man cannot explain to you why he resigned. 50 million. 50 million is about 250,000 euros. 250,000 euros. That man today is like a beggar. He's like a beggar. Just because of his son. And do you know what the boy said? He said he was three months old. When the uncle, the junior brother to the father, gave him witch to eat. 
because that man was against his father the man was an enemy of his father and when this boy was giving birth to three months old the father took this boy to the village and that was where that man contaminated him ladies and gentlemen anybody assigned to contaminate the destiny of your children by fire by thunder before this year Russia I said that we fall down and God said to Moses what do you have in your hand Moses said the Lord he said strike the water just obey and the world will come forth and God said to Elijah my word is in your mouth speak the word and Elijah stood and said according to my word there shall be no rain of dew for three and a half years and so it was I'm not in doubt if God will confirm the words of my mouth praise God come daughter not you God bless you hallelujah your season to triumph has come the enemy wanted to throw her out of this country one thing you must rejoice over is that that very day people called me what happened to Sivir is small compared to what happened to her just a few days in Tava you all happened on Monday I will happen on Tuesday. That's one week and a day. But what was the deliverance? God said, speak my word. I personally called a lawyer. I said, lawyer, look, this is the case. And this is a lawyer that well, you can't get him. You can't just get him. But because of my personality, when I called, I said, tell the lawyer to call me back. And the lawyer called back. And I explained everything to the lawyer. The lawyer said, oh, no, 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 no. There is nothing he can do. We should consider that case over. And when I dropped the phone, the Lord said, speak my word. I said, now that there is no lawyer to help, Jesus' lawyer or lawyer Jesus is there to help. Hallelujah. And the word came forth. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 minutes later, the case was over. Amen. Hallelujah. You will share your testimony on Sunday. Go and sit down. 30 minutes later. 30 minutes later. Exactly as the word came forth. Exactly. 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 And I said to myself, why did I waste time calling lawyer? Because that was the first thought that came. Call the lawyer. Call the lawyer. God will honor the words of your mouth. We serve a mighty God. Someone say fire for fire. Any man that vow. Any woman that vow. They will not allow you. To end this year where? Today. The fire of God will strike them. In the name of Jesus, let me hear you shout a loud amen. This is what we have come. But there is what I call barrier. There is what I call barrier. And that barrier is what we have just read. The Bible says they did evil in the sight of the law. And they were delivered into the hands of the Midianites. You see, the first thing I will let you understand is this. When a witch, a witch wants to attack somebody, there must be a reason. Some of you, the reason they give, when you travel home, you give Mrs. K maybe one dollar you give mrs b five dollar and mrs k is a witch that is enough you gave me one dollar you gave her five dollar okay i will show you there must be a reason 
no witch attacks until there's a reason no witch no demon attacks until there's a reason whether cogent or uncogent it doesn't matter because most of the time it is what is not really relevant that's what they use and you have done that innocently you have done that as a good person though you are not obliged to give mrs k one dollar but out of your good heart see mrs k as she's suffering he said come let me help you take and then out of your good heart you announce to mrs b i'm giving you five dollars and mrs k get to hear about it that's all it's already a grand for them to attack you but let me let you understand tonight as a child of god no weapon from against you shall prosper yeah. and any tongue that rise up against you in judgment today we shall condemn them yeah. if you believe it shout a loud amen yeah. you know god showed me a revelation and once god showed me a revelation i don't play with it two different kind of revelation and that's why i'm going to advise every one of you especially this festive period don't just eat anything don't just eat anything you may visit somebody and they want to offer you food it's a good thing it's a good compliment watch your spirit because one of the revelation the lord showed me is somebody offered contaminated food to people to eat but in this revelation god opened my eyes to see and i saw and I came into the scene and I began to warn the person don't eat this food this food is contaminated and praise God the person listed and that was a revelation and whenever God revealed things to me I don't play with them amen, amen. I don't play with them the second one God revealed was group of people were consulting evil altars Consigning others. What does that mean? Names of people who have been carried to evil water to afflict a curse on them. That is why today we are going to pray after this message. Anybody going to native doctor to carry your name for curse or whatever today, the fire of God will consume them. He says, So these two things before the ending of this year lead my people to pray anybody busy going to anywhere on your behalf consulting against you so that things will not work for you by the power of God every consultation they make shall backfire against them and that's why I want to encourage you if there's any time to pray it's now if there's any time to pray because they are not sleeping and for you not to be prayerful it means you open up yourself are you saying it you open what yourself someone say I refuse I will not give myself to the devil I will not give myself to my enemies yes that's why many have been defeated today because they expose themselves they expose themselves i will never expose myself to the devil in other words i will never allow the devil to have advantage over my life it's a decision i've taken it's a decision you must take or else you allow the devil to shift your life and make life frustrating for you the Bible says when God created man and God blessed man, God said to man, be what? Fruitful. Multiply. Replenish. Subdue. And have dominion. When your enemies have dominion over you, they will kill you before your time. Do you know why they want to kill you before your time? Because they know you are the breadwinner of your family. They know you are the one taking care of your wife, your children your husband your children imagine that vacuum is gone that means more affliction someone said they cannot kill me someone said my children will not suffer <laughs> it is my responsibility to 
train up my children and I will do it gloriously majestically because whatever I need to take to take up my children to train my children the Lord shall provide if you really say amen your children will not be sent to orphanage homes you didn't hear me very well I say your children shall not be sent to orphanage homes it is a fatherless child that goes to orphanage home your children will not be fatherless is that you are not getting that prayer I say you will not dare leave your children as orphans as a mother you will not dare leave your children as orphans as a father you will not dare and leave your children as orphans if this prayer for you shout the Lord Amen Hallelujah and the Lord gave them over because Israel went astray by disobeying God by offending God by neglecting God and by putting God aside ladies and gentlemen you always need God say to yourself I always need God because without God I am nothing I am a nobody but with God I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me with God I am well protected with God I will get to the top if you believe you say amen yes and you know when the enemy took over they were afflicted the Bible said they came into the land to destroy. The spirit of death that has come to key will not locate you. Amen. It will not locate your children. Amen. The spirit of destroying businesses and causing them to become bankrupt will not locate your business. He said, but the thief cometh not, but to steal, to kill. And to, so whenever the thief comes in, this three mandate must be accomplished. But some of them might not see. They came into the land. Why did they come into the land in the first place? Because the people sinned against God. They left God out of their life. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the time to allow the enemy to have advantage over your life. Because the season we are in is a very desperate season. Both negative spiritual and positive spiritual. Now when I talk about negative spiritual and positive spiritual, the forces of wickedness, they are spirit being. Satan is a spirit being. Though he walks through human being. So, his actions are to fulfill negative spiritual issues. Why God is also a spirit being. God is a spirit. God is a spirit. And he takes care of positive spiritual things. Now, from both sides, just like I've always explained to you, even in governments, companies, everybody has a budget. What to accomplish within a calendar here. In the kingdom of God, there is a calendar what God wants to accomplish for the year 2013 2014 why the devil also has his own calendar every government even here in Germany some few days ago our chancellor Angela Merkel she was reinstated as the chancellor of this country for the top 10 which means she has ruled this country for 8 good years and she's about to rule again for another 4 years and when that happens a few days ago after setting up the cabinet the first thing she did after the presentation of credential to the president Egog, or whatever you call him he came back to parliament to give his speech of what he wants to do what she wants to do 
what she wants to accomplish what the next four years and one of the major agenda they have is as touching how to solidify europe because she believes a strong europe means the strong citizens now they have all their plans what they want to accomplish now what happened is this within this time of the calendar year of any year december every ministry is want to make sure that their budget is what accomplished if a ministry is giving some money to roll the affairs within a calendar year and at the end of the year they did not exhaust that money what happened next year they will call down their budgets so they must spend the money they must spend the money what does that mean what the devil plan for this year that will not be accomplished is in haste right now to make sure they are accomplished someone say minus me someone say minus my children there's a reason why in the spiritual realm there's what we call the months of embers beginning from september which is the ninth month of the year and it lasts for nothing less than september october november December. We call them the ember months. And within this time, you see a lot of delicate things happening. You see a lot of things happening. When you go to Africa, you see people dying like sardine. Just look at what is happening right now in CARO, Central African Republic. See what is happening right now in South Sudan. People are being killed just like you are killing flies. Because of the season we are in, the devil wants to accomplish his mandate for the year 2013. But somebody said, Minus me. He said, Plan that has been reached that 2013, this number of people must be eliminated. Let's say 1 million and only 100,000, meaning 900 must go. And that's why the devil within this period is out to carry out havoc in any form in any way he can but you will not be a victim Amen. i say you will not be a victim Amen. i say your children will not be victims Amen. so when they sin before the lord the enemy came in to destroy but something happened something happened and that's why we're here today Judges chapter 6 beginning from verse 6 this time something happened the scene the enemy came in with one sole purpose and that purpose was to destroy but from the scenes we discover something happened are you there Judges chapter 6 from verse 6 let's read one to go and Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites and the children of Israel cried unto the law. Now look at that word, impoverished. In other words, it means that the enemy totally destroyed them. There is a way the enemy will attack you. It will only take the grace of God for you to recover. And there are some people that don't recover from it. That's what normally happens. You see a company going through some difficult time at times they will recover and rebound even football team even football team when two sides they are playing you score one you score two the second side also have the opportunity to score now what happened is this they have the hope let's keep playing it's not over it's not over second half we may still win we may still win but if in first half they give you 20-0 is enough for you to close the match because second second half they may add another 20. so not to make it 40 is better to stop at 20 because there's no hope of what recovering there is a way the enemy will attack when you give him the opportunity you may not survive it but someone say in the name of jesus every demonic attack against my life they will surely fail they will surely fail because I know the God I serve. So, 
the Israelite cried to God. In the midst of the attack, they cried to God. Somebody said, I've come to cry to God. And I know my God will hear me. Whatever you are going to, you are coming out of it. Whatever is going on in your life that is not pleasant to God, I declare by the power of God you will overcome. Somebody said, I will not stay there. Somebody said, I will not remain there. It doesn't matter. The afflictions. The Bible says, many may be the affliction of the righteous. But God will deliver him or her from all. Do you believe it? If you believe it, say amen. It doesn't matter the affliction you are going through. God is about to deliver you from all. From all. So they cried to God. They cried to God. In other words, they repented before God. Father, we have seen. Father, we have gone astray from neglecting you. We have offended you. Father, we are sorry for disobeying you. Father, we are sorry for putting you aside in our daily affairs. Oh God, have mercy. And God heard it. God will hear you. Let me hear you say, God will hear me. You see, that is my confidence when it comes to prayer. That is my greatest confidence when it comes to prayer. I have seen what God has done for the past few weeks just by speaking the word over issues, over situations. My faith has so grown that now when I see a dead person, I can go to that person and say, Rise up! Rise up! And that person will rise up. Praise God. Because my faith has come to a level where I know with God all things are Somebody say with God all things are possible. That is why I'm confident that I will surely end this year well. Yes. You will not be among those to be mourned. You shall be among those to be celebrated. So they cried to God. They repented before God. And they asked God for forgiveness. Let's continue. Verse 7. One to go. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites that the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel. We said unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt and brought you forth out of the house of bondage and I deliver you out of the hands of the Egyptians and out of the hands of all that oppress you and drive them out from before you and gave you their land and I said unto you I am the Lord your God fear not the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell but you have not obeyed. Praise the Lord. Because they did not obey, God abandoned them. The Lord will not abandon you. But when they cry, the Lord heard them and sent them what? A prophet. God has brought his word to you today. That the barrier that will not allow you to end this year where well is called the barrier of sin. Somebody say sin. I will not sin against God. Every sin I have committed against God, today I repent before God and ask for God's forgiveness. If you please say amen. Rise to your feet. There are some prayer points the Lord said we are going to pray today. But before we go into that prayer point, our light brother, Vadis and the choir once again, Come forward. We're going to worship God. We're going to worship Him. Please, let me advise you. When you come to God's presence like this, stop distracting yourself. Stop looking up and down. Is anything pursuing you? If something was pursuing you outside, it can't pursue you inside church. Stop looking up and down. Who is there? Who is not there? Mind your business with God. Amen. Because 
because some of you don't pray let's pray you are looking you are looking no not concentrate concentrate amen. amen so that god will visit you amen someone say god will visit me today, god will visit me today. because i am ready to cry to my god for his divine attention for his divine intervention in the name of jesus Go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Go ahead and worship Him. Go ahead and worship Him. Go ahead and worship Him. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. Invisible Lord.
something marvelous, something fantastic, something glorious, something victorious, something excellent. In my life, I pray, 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 pray. God do it, God do it. Something marvelous, something new, something marvelous. In my life, right now. They are not you. shall finish this year well. In Jesus' name. You shall finish this year well. In Jesus' name. You shall finish this year well. In Jesus' name. You shall finish this year well. In Jesus' name. You shall end this year well. In Jesus' name. You shall end this year well. 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 Please, when you go back, go on your knees and pray. Go on your knees and thank God. Jesus, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I'm 
you will see that 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 you will
In the name of Jesus. You shall enter through the door. And the power of God, that is number four. You shall enter through the door. That is number five. You shall enter through the door. That is number six. You shall enter through the door. That is number seven. You shall enter where? In the name of Jesus. That is eight. You shall enter where? That is nine. You shall enter where? As we close the meeting tonight, this is a preview of what God will do tomorrow. Amen, somebody. Don't forget tomorrow, Pastor Vena and Brother Vadis, they are going to be back here tomorrow. Amen. Tomorrow is thunder for thunder. Tomorrow is what? Thunder for thunder. Don't fail to be here. Take a quality seed now. Just take it and rise up. I say, oh God, with this seed in my hand, I see the prophetic blessings upon my life. Tonight, it is guaranteed with the eruption of the power of God in this place today. No power can stop me. No witch can destroy me in the name of Jesus. Because every prostrated causes has been returned back to sender. Every prostrated failures has been sent back to sender. In the name of Jesus, I am marching forward. In Jesus' name, I am come and drop that thanks to you. God bless you. Come on. Blessings come on. Come on. Glory. 